On today, the U.S. Senate Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship held a hearing focused on the child care crisis and how it's impacting the American workforce. In tonight's Your Money Matters, local child care advocates say it's a great step forward in the conversation that will hopefully lead to some kind of action. In every one of our 99 counties, child care availability has a direct impact on our employers and economic growth. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst was one of the leaders of the Senate hearing on child care, which largely focused on the industry's impact on the economy and workforce. The child care shortage now costs America $122 billion a year in lost wages, productivity and revenue. It's a workforce issue. We're trying to get more parents into the workforce. Um, and with that, we need more child care because we know that there are parents that are staying out of the workforce because they don't have child care. It's the same reason state lawmakers also discussed the child care crisis this legislative session. How is child care impacting the workforce? We're hearing from a lot of individuals right now, but we also need to hear from business owners of how it's specifically impacting economic development and job creation in our communities. And also why Sioux Falls City Councilors talked about potential child care solutions earlier this year. Talk is great. I'm glad the conversations are starting, but there it's going to take a long time to get beyond that point where we really are in crisis. But local child care advocates like Thrive CEO Michelle Erpenbach say these lawmaker discussions ultimately need to come up with some actionable change. The first thing is that we have to understand it's a professional field and we need to pay them as such. We have to treat them as professionals. Child care workers are chronically underpaid. The average hourly wage of a fast food worker in 2022 was 11 cents higher than that of a child care worker. While all parties agree there is a nationwide child care crisis, agreeing on how to best solve it is one of the major roadblocks for change. The answer to this challenge is not a Washington-driven, pricey, one-size-fits-all solution. Now, Erpenbach says low-income families in Cavaland can qualify for federal child care aid, but their biggest concern is the families in the gap between being able to afford child care on their own and having a low enough income to qualify for that aid. 